word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. In continuation from the previous tape about the corporate witnesses, the marriage which we have to go through, the leaders of the so-called great USA client nation should learn, at least from the animals, that a marriage or a copulation is between a male and a female, never through homosexuality, never through lesbianism, or never through the so-called bestiality. The only reason why we are telling this is the negligence of the doctrine that they are not able to comprehend in their minds, and they have given a permission for such and such marriages between the same sex. And why is it, dear brethren, Satan, the way it tries to take up invasions against the God's ordered creation to answer in this angelic conflict, so that whenever a corporate witness reaches to the status quo of maximum glorification unto Christ, and they are telling in return, though Adam and you fail, Lord, we are not going to fail. We are going to give you a great glorification unto Jehovah. We are going to give you a great answer, though the couple of the first one failed, we the couple of this church age, because you have extrapolated the Christian institute of marriage from the divine institute of marriage in other dispensations, so specially to tell that we are the true corporate witnesses. And dear brethren, many of the people who fail to understand this corporate witnesses just enter into marriage to get their libido to be satisfied. And this is what they're going to get in, and they're going to really fail in the truth of the reality that a woman should should be a doctrinal woman, a man should be a doctrinal man, and a woman in a doctrine which is resident in her soul, when she responds, it is a marvelous creature of all time, wherewith God, when in his grace given for us in the form of a flesh, she is a beautiful one to be there, to be enjoyed. At the same time, if a woman, she is not resident in the doctrine, and if she is not able to understand the word of the Lord, nor the man who has given importance for Bible doctrine, both of them have already flunked the corporate marriage witness to Jehovah, far less, it could be not lesser than equivalent to the same homosexuality, or it will be not less or equivalent to the same lesbianism, where Satan takes invasion and causes the people not to grow up in the knowledge of Bible doctrine. Dear brethren, how exactly do the born-again husband and wife defend against the enemy's concentrated assault? How do they surmount the internal challenges of marriage, as well as the outside influence of the devil's world? They advance together to spiritual maturity while remaining within their divinely ordained roles. They embrace the elevated opportunity and utilize the enhanced ability to exercise the spiritual leadership and authority orientation. The husband initiates what that the leadership and the wife responds. With Bible doctrine in the mix, man and woman enjoy a coalescence of soul, a unique and intimate interplay, distinctively influencing each other as they move toward the high ground together. Husband and wife mutually support each other in spiritual growth, problem solving, and rearing children in the ways of the Lord. This tandem spiritual advance, the Christian husband and wife is synchronized application of Bible doctrine, defeats Satan's solutions, and wins a supreme tactical victory, which is the ultimate in Christian service, an unbeatable team, an impenetrable and victorious witness for the persecution in the angelic conflict. This unbeatable team when two are together, they can chase thousand as per Deuteronomy 30 when they have been combined, and that is the corporate witness. If individual, they could be thousand, but with two combined together, they could be ten thousand, which they can chase out. And dear brethren, this is what you and I have to be much concentrated, the mutual responsibility where a wife and a husband go together because the Christian wife's subordination to her husband parallels to the subjection of the church to Christ. Therefore, we the church as well, when we are being subjected to Bible doctrine, when we are being growing up in the 
knowledge of the word of the Lord and get to the reality of the word and give number one priority for him, then we will be a true subjectors of his word. Then we will be the true people whom Lord will have absolutely delight in us and cause us to be a maximum glorification witnesses in this angelic conflict. Dear brethren, this is a short discourse. Ponder over these things as we continue in the next tape. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that thou hast given to fellowship with through the word. Help us to be a stabilized corporate witnesses so that, dear brethren, as the church to the Christ, so we can be a right man to a right woman and a right woman to a right man, so that by being constant obedient to learning in the word of the Lord and rearing up the children to which they have to go, help them to be absolutely perfect through the knowledge of their word, through the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, as they're going to be future corporate witnesses as well. To this extent, we pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, enlighten us, for we ask it in sovereign Lord Christ's name, Father. Amen. Thank you.